Bates Motel Season 4, Episode 8, Unfaithful. I really love this episode. I think it, you know, there are just a lot of elements of this that didn't really surprise me. One of which being um, Romero. Like, I knew that stuff was going to bite him in the butt. I'm like, oh, she's going to visit her mom. That's not the end of it. It seemingly, I, and I, that's what I said. I was like, it seemingly wrapped up nicely. But we all knew that that wasn't going to happen. So, of course, the small twist in that is they're actually looking for Romero. Like, they know that he knew about some of the illegal stuff and he kind of looked the other way on things. So they're going after him and she's going to kind of get a bit of leeway. So I don't know where they're going to take that, how far they're going to take it. But that was all we got. It was like they had her get, um, you know, she was on, on the no-fly list. So they, you know, the DEA, they came right out like, hey, we need to talk to you. One extra scene where it's like, this is what we're really going after. It's like, it would be a shame if he went free and you went to jail. And that's all we got. So she's saying some stuff. I have to assume she's going to be saying some stuff. And once again, when I said this from the beginning, I was like, she could easily throw out, I think he killed Bob Parrish. And that's all they would, she would have to say, because technically he did, even though she doesn't really know that. That's like her suspicion. And I don't know if they investigate. I don't know if that would matter or not, because of the whole thing where he's like, he was like way off the coast and he sunk the boat and everything. It's just hard to tell if that would really matter or or not, but I feel like that's just like the biggest thing, even outside of him helping her, like giving her the key for the money and all that. I feel like that is the main thing because technically he killed him and that's what they can find out if they choose to you know, truly investigate and like comb the water and all that crazy stuff. But it's going to be bad. Obviously, it's going to be bad. So he's going to have that to look out for. And then, of course, he has Norman, who's lost his freaking mind more i guess I, I mean he's still crazy norman he's crying and stuff like he was spying on them and he saw them about to have sex and you couldn't really see it because it was super dark but if you looked at his eye he'd already had a tear like coming down his cheek like his eyes looked like they were only welling up but he already had like a, a um a tear like rolling down his cheek and i was like he's losing it like he's getting further and further into like the insanity so that should be pretty fun in the next episode, which I'm excited to catch up on as well, because we have, um, well, technically one more episode, because I have to catch up on the most recent one, but next week is the finale, so I'm very excited for that, but I think this in itself was a crazy episode, like, he went nuts with the axe at the end, and he's chopping the wood and stuff, and then Rare's like, you know, hey, back up, like, he was, he was trying to be tough, but he was like, hey, back up, and then when he kept walking, he was like, back up, and, like, Romero backed up while he was saying back up, and I was like, yeah, I'd be scared, too, like, you can be as tough as you want, but crazy kid's got an axe on you, and then he goes nuts, and he's, like, swinging on, like, the little, um, the little tool shed at the back of the house, just chopping it up, and it's like, yeah, he's lost his freaking mind, even worse, but I did love the dinner scene. I thought that was actually really cool. Like, they have the argument, and it really blew up. Because normally, you know, Norma's trying to, in some way, keep it a little bit civilized. And it's like, you know, like when they were uh, shopping for the tree, which was surprising because they were like, oh, it's Christmas and stuff. I was like, oh, I had no idea that that's how they were playing that in the show. But, you know, it's like they're going for the trees and stuff, and they have their little argument. Then it kind of builds up. And ultimately, Norman just vomits because it's like the news is just so terrible, it makes him throw up. And then when they have the dinner scene, it escalates even beyond that point because he's not sick anymore. He's just pissed. And Norman gets pissed as well. Like, I'm a grown woman. I can make my own decisions and be with who I want to be with. So it got pretty chaotic. It got pretty intense. And just the way everything ended with the tensions running so insanely high and we still have the stuff with Caleb returning and that still hasn't happened yet and Dylan knowing the truth you know or at least considering a possibility like a possible truth with the letter and stuff like that it's like what's he gonna do with them leaving you know, basically in the morning so I don't know or I guess in two days he's supposed to leave in like two days by the end of the episode so he's still got a bit of time you know, he's got a full day, and, you know, then they're gone. So I I don't know how that's going to play out either, but I have to assume, especially based on the trailer, he's going to at least bring it up again with Norma, where she's trying to ignore everything with Norman and how bad he's really getting. And 
it's just gonna get more and more chaotic. I can't wait to see how they do this finale. I think it's gonna be really freaking insane, but I certainly enjoyed this episode. I feel like there's not too much to say because it really was just like Norma trying to keep Norma insane and him just going deeper and deeper into madness. And that was kind of the point of the whole episode. And it was done perfectly. It was certainly done well and it, you know, it had its up when they were shopping and stuff and then it was like it calmed down because he threw up and everything. So it, was, it, it simmered down until the next night. And then it just completely blew up at the dinner and him with the axe and everything. And Romero, like, freaking out, like, you know what? I'm moving back in because I'm not going to leave you alone with him. I, and I'm certainly not going to do it tonight. I'll do it tomorrow. But, you know, I'm not going to leave the house tonight. So, tensions are at an all-time high, which is crazy to think that they could be higher than they have been in the past. But they are. And it's not going to end well. Like, it's just going to be bad. We have one more season to go. And... I don't know what they're going to lead into for these next two episodes, but I'm very excited, of course. Definitely want to know what you guys thought about it, so please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. And, of course, with Norman losing his mind. And I know the most recent episode has already come out, but I would love to know uh, where you guys think that's going to go. I know there's supposed to be one really big thing that may or may not have happened. That's like a little, a little article, and I, I believe I mentioned that before, but I don't know. I... You know, if that did or did not happen, this specific thing that I read, that's pretty crazy. And I don't even, I can't even, I don't know who it's supposed to be that has, like, this dramatic moment. But, I don't know. I can't think of how anything would really get to such a crazy point where anyone would have to, like, take off like that. But, I don't know. I'm excited to see what happens in this next episode. But, like I said, I want to know uh, where you guys think Norman's you know, kind of peak insanity is going to lead him. And of course, I want to know what you guys thought about this episode in general. So please comment below, let me know. And thanks for watching.